As part of worship today, we're going to continue in a time of prayer. As many of you are aware of, we've had more recent crimes against people of color in our nation. And we just want to take some time to pause, to reflect, to mourn, and to pray together. So I'm going to lead a few prompts, and I just invite you to ask the Holy Spirit to come invade your heart and your mind, bring comfort where there needs to be comfort, bring challenge where there needs to be challenge. We are called by God to be his people, the beloved community, and today we grieve together for Mr. George Floyd, his family and friends, and for the sin of racism that affects us all. So first we turn to God's word to guide our lament for George Floyd. From Psalm 140, deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who plan evil things in their heart and stir up wars continually. They make their tongues sharp as serpents and under their lips is the venom of asps. Selah. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and will execute justice for the needy. God, bring your justice and your comfort to the Floyd family, to those who loved and respected him. Bring your conviction and repentance to those who took his life away so brutally. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Next, we ask and allow the Spirit to convict our own hearts. Where have we been apathetic to racial injustice? Where have we been willing to stay silent? Where have we been complicit? Where have we been afraid? A reading from Psalm 139. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Have mercy on us, O Lord. And lastly, today we ask God for his wisdom to put love into action. How might God be inviting you today as an individual, as families, and for us as the Smoky Hill Vineyard community to put love into action? to work for justice, to advocate, to learn, to build relationship, to demonstrate sacrificial love. Let's pray right now for courage and wisdom to put love into action. A reading from John 15, Jesus said, this is my commandment. Love each other in the same way that I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Come, Holy Spirit, and have mercy on us, O Lord.